Hello, Buzz and Cuts. My name is Hatsasi and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where any second now our train for grenade production comes in. And there it is. Uh, if everything works out, yep, machines are running. And um, we should see the train waiting here yes beautifully half empty about and with that Grenades are one part of military science. Walls are a second part that we also did in the last episode. So, guess what we will do today? Yeah. We will build up the uh, pipeline for uh, ammunition. The red one. So, for that we need to first build the yellow one and then feed that into the production for the red one and then finally we can build military science so today's plan is three factories yellow ammunition red ammunition and military science and yellow ammunition should be quite easy because it only requires one input metal so basically it's the same as we have already here and i think we will just pack that uh, up here yeah that will fit in here as this is a very simple factory, we already had our first train delivery with some production. And this we had because we only need one input material, which is iron. So the unloading stations are standard. Uh, iron plate delivery one and two and on that route we already have trains and I took the liberty to add another one because uh, our iron supply um, is not the best and I think the bottleneck that we have here is the fueling we have one station and every train needs to go through there uh, sometime in the schedule so maybe we should add a second uh, refueling station uh, here uh, on the opposite side uh, to uh, have a bit of uh, options for the trains to go to because it also happened that we had a deadlock because the coal train wanted to refuel uh, but no the coal train wanted to go uh, was sitting here but wanted to go to refuel but the other coal train was sitting here and wanted to go to the coal field so that of course is no good but now that we have the yellow ammunition let's see if we can produce the red one and the red one that's something that has three input materials so a bit more complicated I am wondering, do we have a factory somewhere that already takes three input materials? 
don't have any signs yet, which is that complicated. Um, green circuits only take two. How about the, uh, the inserters? The inserters, yes, the inserters, that would work. So, where are they? Okay, they are over here. Ooh, but that's not a good, good setup because we are directly unloading from the train into the assembly machine instead of into um, a chest and then into the assembly machine. Uh, but I think we can do this with basically this setup, have uh, another chest uh, uh, in here uh, and then we move basically the assemblers close together. Now question is where to put it? Um, I am thinking this is our science column. So down here we will have military science. Um, this is copper smelting, iron smelting, so we should not have it there. Uh, would be nice to have it close here. We could place it down there. That would work, I think. So I think I will just copy the uh, setup for the two and then tweak it as I go. Military science setup is now also done and we probably want to take a blueprint of it uh, because this is probably the first three input uh, blueprint. Um, three input factory. Great, and put it in the book here. So all that we now need to do is set up a train. That one goes the other way around. Bit of fuel in there. And then, um, let's see. We need to double the amount of walls as we do grenades. So let's go to pick up wall one. Pick up wall two, item count. Um, we do want to have walls here. Um, and let's load in total 2000, which means we should load 1,000 at each station. Then we proceed to um, ah ah. 
actually what I wanted to have here was the red ammunition and not the, the military signs. Um, so that's a bit of a boo-boo. Which means before we can set up this train, we have to uh, put in the red signs. So let's do that right above here. Um, and leave us the fact that the military science production is not together with the auto science production. But now that we have uh, a factory layout for three input items, at least the uh, figuring out part is over. And actually, I probably should show you that. Um, it's quite simple. We have the, the three inputs here directly out of the train, into the chests, into the factory. And then we go around here on the outside. And basically, that's the outermost slot where we can put it into the train. Um, if we have four input materials, that will be uh, really tricky. Actually, I'm not really sure if there are any four input recipes in uh, Vanilla Factorio. But let me uh, uh, throw together the uh, red ammo production up here and then we can actually have military science. The red ammunition is now also in place and for that, um, actually, let me show it here. For red ammunition, we need five times as much copper as steel and the yellow firearm. So that's why we have 2000 copper plates, 400 yellow magazines and 400 steel. So all that needs to be done is set this up, which we will do just now. Um, we will go for fueling first. Remember, we still have to fix the fueling issue. Um, then we shall go for waiting. Waiting steel pickup until we have reached condition steel greater than zero that way uh, and then of course we move on to steel one and steel two um, well, we will stay there until we have 200 loaded in the first one and uh, that was the wrong one um, and 400 in the second one. Then let's move on to yellow ammunition pickup one, yellow ammunition pickup two. And here we have the same thing. Uh, we will have to pick up 200 on the first one and another 200 on the second one. And then let's move on to 
copper loading. Uh, actually, wait for copper loading. Waiting copper plate pick up. Um, circuit condition. We have any copper plates ready. Then we move to copper plates loading one and copper plate loading two. We once again count the item here. We have five times that amount as we had previously. And you can count that yourself on your fingers to ensure that the mass is correct. Right, that is quite a bit of loading. Then now let's go to the un unloading part um red ammunition delivery one and red ammunition delivery two which seems we have um a missing output station there and once again we will um on here we need like that and then here we can have it that way um oh no that's that's a pickup that's correct 1000 2000 um and here greater than 1000 and then the last one is empty cargo or time past two minutes and then we shall start the whole thing from the top so of course we have to wait apparently not long for the fuel station to get free but i think it will be quite a while until we see some materials coming in here uh, but that allows us to set this train up uh, completely um uh, how let this work twice the amount of uh, walls so we will need to go to pick up one and pick up two uh, for red ammunition and we will have to count the items here as well but on this one it's 500 and 1000 and then we need grenades grenades loading one loading two item count the grenades uh, 500 um and item count grenades 1000 uh, not that much uh that's the that's the pickup then let's actually go to uh, fueling up and do that for five seconds should be enough 
and then go to military science one military science two delivery and we have item count the walls That should be less or equal to thousand. And then here we have empty cargo or two minutes past. Right. And let's set that up and we will end this episode and hopefully in the way of next episode we should see some military signs being produced which does not yet imply that we will do any military science research because for that we would need a full train of military science and i think that's still some time away but we made progress anyway so i hope you enjoyed this episode please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you have not already and if you have thank you very much and I will see you next time. Goodbye.